Hello everyone and welcome to December 16th, the reflection for our lessons and carols for the Wednesday of the third week of Advent. Our lesson today is taken from the writings of Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, who later became Pope Benedict the 16th. And here is his reflection. Advent is concerned with that very connection between memory and hope, which is so necessary for human beings. Advent's intention is to awaken the most profound and basic emotional memory within us, namely the me memory of the God who became a child. This is a healing memory. It brings hope. The purpose of the church's year is continually to rehearse her great history of memories to awaken the heart's memory so that it can discern the star of hope. It is a beautiful task of Advent to awaken in all of us memories of goodness and thus to open doors of hope. And thus to open doors of hope. Hope is something that is so very much needed these days. In a normal year, the word hope would often be used to describe the Advent and Christmas seasons. But this year, most especially, we are all looking for signs of hope. The reflection we just heard by Pope Benedict speaks about memories and how our memories can bring hope. He speaks specifically about the hope that comes to us as we remember a basic truth of our Catholic faith. God became one of us and first came into our world as a child on that first Christmas long ago. This Christmas will be very different for many people. And depending on your life experience, it may be one of the most difficult Christmases that you will have experienced. And why it will be difficult this year will vary depending on each person. For me and my family, this will be the first year, first Christmas that we will not be able to be with our mom because she lives in an assisted living facility and they are on lockdown in order to keep her and the other residents safe. And that is not easy for us. As I prayed with this reflection by Pope Benedict, a memory came to mind about a Christmas several years ago. It was in 2007 and that was the year that my brother Stephen had died. He, decided on, he died on December 11th and we all knew that Christmas would would just be a very sorrowful time for us. Honestly, I just wanted to go to bed and wake up in the new year and just skip the whole holiday season because I knew it would be so painful. But Christmas Day arrived and lo and behold, we were saved by my two-year-old twin nieces, Emma and Mia. They of course didn't understand about Stephen's death and they were fully committed to waiting for Santa and searching for gifts and delighting in the decorations. They were really into all that makes Christmas so magical for children. And in doing so, they saved us that year because they took us out of our sorrow for at least a little bit 
and reminded us that there was still much to celebrate. And that is a memory I carry with me and it reminds me that even in our deepest sorrows, our, do our darkest moments, light does appear. And moments of hope are given to us when we least expect it. And it reminds us that things will be better. As Pope Benedict suggests, we can find hope in the Christ child, born so long ago in Bethlehem. And why does that give me hope? What it says to me is when God chose to break into our world, into our humanity, God didn't choose to come as some magical deity or some super powerful mythological figure. God chose to come as a plain old human being, just like you and me. And the message I receive in this is that God is trying to say to us that we as human beings have all that is needed to transform and heal our world for one another. And I hear God saying to us, I come as a human being to remind you of that that human beings, you individually, you together, possess the light and the hope that can transform the world. And I continue to hear God saying, if I believe in you, why not believe in yourselves? Why not believe in one another? So as you go through your day, Maybe, and as you continue to travel during these remaining Advent days, take some time to reflect on your own memories of healing and hope. And like Emma and Mia were for me, think about who are some of the people who remind you of light breaking through the darkness. And maybe also we can consider this, to believe that we, that you, that I am a light that someone else needs right now in their lives. Do we believe that? God is saying to us as a human family during these difficult days, you possess all that you need to heal and transform the world for one another. Believe that. Believe in hope.